At this point, in early December last year, police are conducting a missing persons inquiry, not a murder investigation. We're speaking to you um, in relation to the disappearance of mm -hmm. Grace. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. In footage shown in court today, they questioned the man now accused of Grace Mullane's murder. He gives his story. That's you walking in with a suitcase mm -hmm. at 8.14. Yep. I've still got that suitcase in my room. And you guys can have it, if that's what you, you're assuming. You haven't told the truth about being uh, completely drunk on Saturday night. Maybe I got the times wrong as to when I woke up, but I'm telling you, that bag is still in my room. What's in it? Nothing. What did you buy it for? To move all of my stuff out of my room. This is the CCTV footage that contradicted his account, the prosecution said today. It shows the accused, a 27-year-old man who cannot be named for legal reasons, the day following Miss Mullane's death. He has pleaded not guilty to her murder, saying she died as the result of a consensual sex act gone wrong. In the footage, the defendant visits the shop just after 8am on Sunday morning and buys a large suitcase with wheels. After taking it back to the hotel where he was living, he goes to a general store and buys cleaning products, then back again to his room. Two hours later, the prosecution said, he goes to a car rental store where he hires a small red hatchback. The next footage is from the afternoon that day. It shows the accused arriving at a bar for a date, arranged through Tinder. Grace Mullane's body is still in his room. In court today, that woman, who cannot be named, gave her testimony. She said that, during their two-hour date, the accused told her, police dogs can't smell bodies that are buried more than four feet in the ground. Later that evening, the defendant fetches a trolley from hotel reception and takes it back to his room. He returns with two suitcases loaded on it. One of them contained Miss Mullane's naked body, forced into a fetal position. He has since admitted. The next morning, he buried the case in Woodland outside Auckland City Centre, the prosecution said. A week later, it was discovered by police. Grace Mullane's parents have been present every day of this trial. As the sequence of events was outlined today, they wept gently. The trial continues. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.